Good morning class, my name is Madeline, and today I will be talking about the war in Syria. So the war in Syria has gone over for a little bit over five years, and it has claimed the lives of over a quarter of a million people, according to a report by Holly Kenson of CNN. Um, so it is basically a civil war between two groups in Syria, which are the supporters of the president, Bashar al-Assad, and the rebels who want Bashar al-Assad to be out of power and his resignation. Uh, this will make you a better informed individual learning about the conflicts of Syria today and a better informed in the world news, which is vital for being an educated individual of today's democracy as the US has great involvement in the Syrian conflict. Um, so today I will be discussing the horrors of the Syrian war and the impact of millions that the Syrian war has had in this world. Um, so three central ideas. So the first central idea will be how the Syrian war has started. Uh, the second would be the illegal chemical weapons being used in the Syrian war and the airstrikes. And third will be the impact of the lives of millions and the refugee crisis of the Syrian war. Right, so the first central idea with, is the um, how the Syrian war has came to be, and the Syrian war has come to be after a series of peaceful protests that the, uh, the civilians have put out after finding out that several youths have been brutally punished by the President Bashar al-Assad after writing anti-government graffiti on the walls. Um, when the society has heard about this, then they took to the streets and they were hoping for the resignation of the president. However, um, after at what started to be a fight for their democracy, uh, the president has responded to these protests with brutality and violence and has led up to what the Syrian conflict is sort of building up to us today. Um, Second would be the illegal weapons, and this is sort of when everything starts getting a little more complicated, because when the civil war has started, the Syrian-Russian military has started to use illegal chemical weapons called incendiary weapons, and these incendiary weapons basically burn the flesh out of, um, out of people's skins, and it's hard, very, very difficult to treat uh, the burns that these incendiary weapons have caused, and also it causes fires that are very hard to distinguish, which has been an issue because um, <coughs> because these fires would start to affect civilian homes and civilian objects. Uh, according to another report by Dr. Leeson of King's College London, um, these incendiary weapons have been used over 18 times in the past six weeks. And according to a Human Rights Watch um, report, these uh, surgery weapons have also been used on civilians and not in war zones, which has been a blatant violation to basic human rights. Um, and this has also led to, well, this is also one of the reasons that has led to many nations intervening into the Syrian conflict. All right, so the third central idea, which is probably a large issue in, um, in what a lot of politics have been talking about is the refugees and the refugee crisis. And basically, millions of civilians in Syria have either been displaced or been forced to flee their own homes in order to seek safety. Um, and in another report by um, Dr. Leeson of King's College London again, um, he has stated that five million have been displaced in their country and over six million have fled to different countries. So most of the civilians have stayed in the Middle East, however more than 10 percent, a little bit more than 10 percent have fled to Europe. and. Uh, fleeing to Europe has been a long and dangerous journey that many civilians were willing to take the risk of. 
Um, this also has affected the lives of children in Syria because their schools and have been destroyed and a lot of them have been forced to be out of school. And, um, there's also, um, there are also problems with sort of not enough teachers to be teaching the schools as well. So children in Syria have been susceptible for more exploitation and abuse and also um, the amount of health care being um, utilized in Syria today. Um, as you can see, this has impacted lives of millions of people in a country where it's not entirely their fault that it's happening. Um, so all in all, uh, the Syrian conflict has uh, is still ongoing up to date from the chemical weapons being used um, illegally in civilian areas, which is a blatant violation of human rights, to the impact of millions today. Um, the government is still in power and the rebels are still fighting for the democracy that they were seeking um, a little bit over five years ago. So thank you.